What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to be opening 10 Judgment Chance packages. Now these are the bad boys you can get from Varix Deloyal on the reef. These cost one armor core and one weapon core. Now I've gathered these recordings from over the past week and a half but before we get into the video and open these and show you the contents of these Judgment Chance packages if you guys do enjoy the video at the end if you could leave a like I would appreciate the support. Let's try and reach 4,000 likes. That would be insane if we could. Okay getting into the first package and from the first one I get the Shadow of Veils Sniper Rifle. Now this is is an arc damage sniper rifle two mods were this weapon's mag will be refilled when a super is cast and this weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen vandals okay moving on to the second package i got the cow hunter's blood hunter chest armor 87 intellect and 80 strength not bad whatsoever mods are carry more ammo for special weapons and carry more ammo for auto rifles and greatly increased armor and melee recharge when fighting fallen in the prison of elders moving on to the third package i got the servant of axar now this is a fusion rifle offering arc damage mods are this weapon gains better target acquisition and this weapon deals moderate bonus damage to shanks Onto the fourth package, I got the six Dreg Pride. Now this is a hand cannon. Uh, mods are unassisted kills with this weapon, reduced grenade and melee cooldown. And this weapon has a chance to stun fallen captains. Not a bad mod whatsoever. Moving on to the fifth package, I got the Cowbreaker's Path, and these are the Warlock Leg Armors. They offer 143 discipline. Mods are carry more ammo for heavy weapons, greatly increased agility and grenade recharge when fighting falling in the Prison of Elders. The sixth package, I got the Wolf's Leash. This is a scout rifle, and this thing shoots ridiculously fast. If you guys remember the old Crucible weapon, the Beeline Trauma, I think it shoots as fast as that. It really is crazy. Shame you can't re-roll it and get fully auto on it but it still isn't too bad the mods are rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to a magazine and this weapon deals bonus moderate damage to fallen dregs moving on to the seventh package and i got the wolf's leash again crazy uh, to the eighth package i got the chain of orbix fell this is a heavy machine gun offering void damage perks are this weapon has increased stability and this weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen vandals i actually tried this out in the iron banner and it absolutely wrecks it's actually a decent machine gun it really is moving on to the ninth package and i got the agis of the cow now this is the prison of elders pulse rifle mods are aiming this weapon increases its effective range and this weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen dregs so many of these weapons have mods that destroy dregs it's unbelievable dregs ain't even an issue to me it's the flipping vandals and the captains moving on to the 10th and final package i got the sixth dreg pride hand cannon again same thing i got from the fourth package but yep guys that is what i got from 10 judgment chance packages like i said available from varix the loyal on the reef costing one weapon core and one armor core now if you guys have opened any of these let me know the best thing you've got from them me personally the best thing i think i've got is probably the sniper rifle the shadow of the veils or maybe the actual heavy machine gun the chain of orbix fell i'm actually loving that weapon i really am but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did if you could drop a like i would appreciate the support if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily destiny be sure to subscribe and if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me at DPJSC08. My Twitter is linked in the video description. Thanks again for stopping by and peace out until next time. Peace!